Well, hello, it's been a minute for me. I haven't picked up the camera, but you guys asked to see what I got for Christmas. So I've decided to put together a little artsy fartsy looking video for you. It was really fun for me to make and get creative. So starting off with the Lush body wash, it smells so amazing. And then you guys saw these already, but I just wanted to show them again because they're just so cute and I did break them out before New Year's Eve. <laughs> I just had to. There's so, the, the towels are just so soft. And then we got some hand cream because my husband knows my obsession with hand cream is strong. I have probably about 10 different kinds, but the Tokyo Milk is one of my favorites. He gets it at Compass Rose, which is a local boutique. And it just always feels so luxurious on the hands. And now we're leading right into the next gift, which is this coffee mug that just screams Sienna, doesn't it? It has little corgi doggies. I think that's a Yorkie. There's a Chihu on the other side. So, you know, just, you know, my thing, doggies. Look, that's the new guy. I call him the new guy, that's Hugo. He's with us for the week. And now we're going to get changed into the next phase of this, which is all clothing. Michael Kors hat and scarf set. And I actually picked this out, so it wasn't a surprise. I knew I was getting it, but I wanted it so bad and it's so soft and cozy. And then this actually went with the Tokyo Milk hand cream. This is the fragrance that matches it. And it smells so good and stays on all day. It's pretty crazy. I don't have it yet, but I wanted to feature it anyway because it was a Christmas gift and it's this vintage Louis Vuitton day planner. You guys know I've been on the hunt for one. They're pretty affordable, I would say, for a Louis Vuitton piece, especially something vintage. It's from the 90s. I can't wait for it to get here. I also got a gift certificate for a new tattoo. I'm so stoked. I'm either going to do something around my neck, which I want to finish the Lotus, or something maybe on my leg. Now I'm uh, basically going to show you all of my new dog walking attire, which is this cool pullover sweater and then sorrel hiking boots. I have needed boots for walking in the rain or just colder weather, and I honestly didn't have any. I've only had sneakers. So these were actually a really practical gift and something I really needed. So I'm excited about them. And now we have some dog walking gloves so that I can still use my phone. They're fingerless and I can carry my coffee and take photos because that's always been my problem with my current gloves is they don't have the fingers come off like this and that makes them super functional. But if I want to cover up my phalanges, I totally can. And they're magnetic so it holds the cover open, which is really clever. Look at Hugo. He's only wearing a belly band just in case, but he's been actually pretty good. Now we're going to pretend that we're running errands. I did have to go to the grocery store earlier, but I just wanted to break it up so that when I got back, I took everything off because frankly, I was sweating trying to show you guys all of this stuff and I was still like hanging out at the house. But I got this really cool zero proof book of recipes in a bottle of Ritual Gin and that's the NA and it's really botanical. It has all of the same kind of flavors as gin, but obviously minus the alcohol part. So it has the juniper. And so I went with this recipe. I kind of adapted it to what I had. I didn't have raisins, but I did have cranberries and dates. You essentially just grind it down and then you cook it over the stove with water and turn it into a syrup. While that was cooking, I was preparing the rest of the drink. I have some homemade raw sugar simple syrup and I added two shots of the gin to a, a shaker. And then I strained the puree so that it was just the juice of the dates and cranberries and sh gave it a really good shake. And it was really, oh my God, I can't, I, honestly, <laughs> words cannot describe how tasty this drink was. Uh, I was pretty proud of it actually. 10 out of 10, we'll be making it again, especially if friends come visit and just show them that there are really cool ways to still make drinks and enjoy them without the booze. And then the final gift, which is this game called Monster Hunter. It was actually just in my stocking because it's not a very expensive game and it's not new, but it was fun. So that is it. I hope you had a lovely time and had a good holiday season, whatever you celebrate and happy new year to all of you. I will be seeing you guys in the coming week. And here's my new end screen for all of my videos now. This is the new one. Anyway, okay, bye. Forever.